Hello everyone, welcome to Hello Studio. Today I'm going to show you how to paint a pier, very simple and easy way. At first I will show you how to uh, wet your paper, then uh, uh, blending uh, watercolor paint. And then finally show you a very simple way paint a pier. So let's start it. I'm going to draw a square here and then show you how to weight your paper uh, in different techniques. Now I'm weighting the paper with clean water. Let's try with paint now, see how it goes. See how fast the paint is spreading now? This is not the right way. So let's try different technique. Wait the second box and this time give little time to water absorb the paper. Don't paint right away, just wait a little bit. Then we'll see what is the difference between these two. One is the right way paint and one is wet a little bit. Draw another box and wait in different way. using spray gun to wet the area. Not wet enough, so spray more water to wet the paper. Let's try the second box now. So compared to three boxes, I like this one most because uh, this one very soft, smooth and it will blend nicely. Let's draw another box and this box I'll paint with two different colors and show you how to blend them. Let's wait a little bit of dry. Meantime, I'm going to draw the pier. I usually draw outline, including shadows and very soft highlights area. So let's paint the fourth box now. This one I'm using the pear color. So it's going to be yellow and green mix. Usually I take a 70% pigment and 30% water mix.
See how nice and soft this area is. Now adding some green and show you how to blend these two color together. So I usually use paper towel to dry my brush. If you want, you can add uh, more pigment on top. See how nicely these two colors are blended. Now I'm going to paint the pear. Start with the base color and see now uh, I'm not using the wet and wet technique just painting direct on the uh, dry paper we'll leave the highlight area blank and we'll soft the edge later Try to finish this uh, painting in one go. If there is a hard edge, use your damp brush to soft the edge nicely. There is a reflection from the ground to the pier. Now soften the sharp edge. Now is the shadow area. I always wet the paper to paint the shadow.
Remember, Sharo is not the black color. I usually use lavender and neutral tint. As we go closer, shadow get darker and also the object itself creating some colors on the shadow. I think it's done now. See how easy and simple way you can paint. So you see there is a hard edge in here. Soft the edge. Use a little bit of the pigment and damp brush. I think that's it. Hope you learn a little bit from me. If you want to learn some of the stuff, any subject, anything, please let me know. Please don't forget to subscribe and support my channel. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.